Hi guys, and welcome back to hey, Genshin again. Hey, strange over Wait. there. Come on, let's take a look. Thank you, Amber. Welcome back to Genshin, guys. We are picking up from where we left off. We were doing a quest for Kaya. Um, I've just activated a, um, a god statue up there, and we had to fight a boss for it to get rid of the wind current. And now we're in the process of running over to the Arcadian Ruins to find the X marks the spot, the map which we had the clue of from last episode. But before then, as always, we have a couple of things to go through. So since the last episode, um, I now have more of an idea of how I want to spend my wishes, right? Because last time I said, I don't want to get the weapons. I don't think it's worth it. People have said that it's not worth it. They said it's worth going for characters and it sounds like it's worth going for the event characters because apparently all the characters are in there. It's just that the event characters are at a higher rate in that category. Um, so like the standard wish where you do get all the characters, I will show you quickly. Um, I, can all, I can still get all the characters from... Uh, the event wish as well, which is this, the Tapestry of Golden Flames. Um, those characters should be in the standard wish as well, with an increased chance of getting event characters. Um, there's also still the beginner's wish that I'm leaning towards, just because I can get um, more wishes for cheaper, and I have a guaranteed chance of getting Noel. I have read up, Noel is a fairly average character, so it's not make or break to me if I get her. So for that, that's why I'm considering going for the character event wish, right? Every 10 wishes guaranteed to include one four star or higher item. Five star exclu exclusive characters can only be obtained in this specific time period. And before I do that as well, I've been talking to my little sister and she has apparently given me some codes that I can redeem and I think they give me wishes, but I'm not sure. So I will do that quickly. Okay, so never mind. All the codes I were given, they've all expired. So <laughs> I can't get anything anyway. So never mind. Um, so what we will do then now is it's time to, to try and roll the dice, try and get some more characters. This is ultimately a gacha game. So. We're going to do our wishes now, finally. I know you've probably been waiting a little while for this. And I'm sorry for that. I know I played a decent chunk of the first part of the game, at least, as the default characters. And then um, Lisa, Kaya and Amber, um, who you get along the way. So let's go for Tapestry of the Golden Flames. We're going to use 10 wishes. We actually have 12, I believe, here. And I am in fact completely lying to myself because I can't even do the character event wish because that is intertwined fate and I have a quaint faints. So please excuse my complete idiocy. Instead, we will just go for the standard wish. Ten wishes. Here we go. Oh my god, I've never done this before. This is kind of crazy. Ah, first wish is a weapon. Harbinger. Harbinger. Is that how you say it? Harbinger of the Dawn. And we get Masterless Stardust. Yes, that's correct, isn't it? Because that's how we get those currencies by wishing. That's awesome. Another sword. Ferris Shadow. Some more Stardust. I assume I get Stardust every time. Uh, Sky Rider Sword. No characters yet. Another Harbinger of Dawn. Okay. Okay, Sharp Pewter's Oath. That might be a, a decent bow for Amber. Another Sharp Shooter's Oath. I guess we sell that or use it to upgrade other pieces of kit that we have. A Magic Guide. I didn't know that that was an item. I wonder what that does. I've, I have no idea what that does, by the way. 
A raven's bow? Okay, we'll have to compare that with the other bow and see what's good. Ooh, a four-star item. Sacrificial fragments. Extra master of star glitter times two. It's got the little legendary golden glow around it. That's kind of neat. And a bloodstained great sword. And that's all we got. I don't really know if that was even very good at all. That seems kind of bad. We didn't get any characters. We got a load of weapons. Some of them which are duplicates. And then we got a couple books and one of them is a four star item. So what does this do then? Sacrificial fragments. After damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 40% chance to end its own CD. Can only occur once every 30 seconds. Elemental mastery. I don't really understand what that means, but... But at least we got the Masterless Stardust, and because we got the four star, we did get a couple star glitters as well, which is very nice. And using these, if you don't know, we can purchase resources from the shop, um, rare resources apparently. And the other Stardust is also rare resources from the shop. I think it just varies slightly on what each, on which each one buys, but I think they're fairly similar. So. We actually have two wishes left, so I'm just going to use these now. I'm not going to save up for 10, just because I want to see if I can try and get a character. So let's go ahead and do that now. Here is our first one. Okay, Black Tassel. That's like a, a polearm kind of weapon. But I don't have a character that can use a weapon like that yet. I guess this is a problem as well. Every 10 wishes are guaranteed a four star item or higher. So that's the only reason I even got a four star in the first place, which is kind of bad if you think about it. But let's do this last one. And it looks like a four star. Yes, we got a character. We got a character on our last wish. Out of 12, we had 12 wishes and we got a character on the last one. No way, no way man, am I that? That is literally my luck, that is my luck. I go all that way, I get nothing, and then the very last wish, the game actually coughs up something half decent. I, I, I think it's half decent, I don't know. Um, Diona, four star character. Very, very decent. I will take any new character. Amazing. That's really, really, really good. I was expecting a character out of 10 wishes, but then I don't know exactly how it works. So, if we check our party setup. So, let's swap someone out. Oh my god, she's tiny. She's like a tiny little cat girl. She's got a little cat bag. Looks like it's got... The paws look like brass knuckles. Okay. Ah, but she's... Ice element, the same as Kaya. So is it going to be worth running Kaya if I now have Diona? Or is Diona even any good? What I will do, guys, like is... What I will quickly do is just check a tier list and just see where Diana is in that. Okay, guys, welcome back. This is... A tier list that I found online. I don't know how good it is. I don't know how many people make these, if they're a collective effort. Um, but I can see from this that Di Diona is actually an S tier character, which is actually kind of insane. And she's a utility character. And you can see Kai down here, he's a, a sub DPS character apparently. And he's A tier, which is still decent, you know. And there's Noel, who we would have got guaranteed in the beginner's wish, but we ended up getting Diona, which is amazing hey, because she's there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. Thanks, Amber. We got Diona, who is. I assume these are done in order up to the highest S tier as well, 
So she's a high S tier. I think about what we're going to do here. Let's sort our weapons out first. Because we've been given a few new weapons and I'm wondering if... For Amber, for example, any of these bows are going to be any good for her. Um, I'm always a big fan of crit damage. I think in most games that have it as an additional element, it's usually a good thing to go for. It is weaker than my Hunter's Bow in terms of flat out DPS, but I will try and upgrade it. Do I have any materials I can upgrade it with? I can put the old bows in. I can put a level one pole arm in. I'm going to get rid of one of these pole arms because they are duplicates. That's the other one I got, so I can trade the other one in because I already have one anyway. Level 7, so we're already up at more damage than the old bow, and we have almost 12% crit damage, which is kind of insane. I'm going to do it a little bit more, just to uh, have a good buff to it. I don't want to use that one yet, that looks awesome, but I will use a few of these just to level it up. I don't want to use too many because I know later in the game I'm going to come across other things that I want to use rather than bows because I'm still quite a low level. I don't want to waste everything on low level weapons straight away but I still want to have some decent damage so I can get through these parts of the game. So let's check out these swords that we've just gotten. I mean I've already upgraded this one to level 20 and I know it didn't cost that much to get to level 20 which is why I did it. But I think I'm going to keep that because... I don't know, I feel like we're going to get better weapons. But then it's not very expensive to upgrade it a bit and it will give me more defence. Okay, so I will enhance this a little bit. That will do. That's all I... I don't want to put too much into these weapons. I really, really don't. But I still want them to be okay. I want to use it over the other weapon. Um... I'm not going to bother giving Kaya a new sword for now because I already have an ice element now in Diona and I already have that sword upgraded with, um, he has a name this guy doesn't he, Animo? Yeah Animo aka me, so he already has that sword. So I'm not going to waste time upgrading another one for Kaya, maybe in the future, I don't know. So let's go to our new character, we already have some artifacts we can use on her. I'm actually gonna take this off of Kaya and put it onto Diona because it's a higher level um, artifact. And that gives us Adventurer 1 and then this is a Travelling Doctor's piece. These are both Travelling Doctor's pieces. This is Adventure 1, so again, I'm going to swap this from Kaya and I'm going to put it onto Diana. So now we already have hit points increased by a thousand, which is really, really, really nice. And we also have this Adventure Bandana to use, which gives us 5.2% hit points and gets us very, very close to a four piece set, which, if we can find another one, would give us. A regeneration effect after opening a, a chest. That's kind of cool. Oh, she uses a bow. She uses an ice bow. Interesting. Oh, okay. So that bow that I used on Amber. Oh, wow. What does that do? Does that give me a shield? Sorry, guys. I know I'm like not doing this quest at the moment, but this is kind of cool, all this stuff I've just found. Okay, so let's find her a weapon that she can use then. Uh, oh yeah, let's give her the one I was going to give Amber. Let's give her the Sharpshooter's Oath. So what do I have here then? I have two Heroes Wit as well. Will that get her to level 8? Wow, she sucks up a lot of defense from her levels. I'm going to level her up a little bit more because I think she's going to become one of those characters that I use 
a fair amount, so I think it's going to be worth leveling her up a little bit more. I'm going to use a couple of these books on her too, not all of them, just a couple of them. And do I want to use one of these? It only gives her two more levels. I'll leave it for now, I think level 13 is okay for now in, in the quest that we're in. And we'll use her and see how we get on. Oh god, this is crazy. We've done, we're all done, right? We've done our wishes, we've got our character. We've got our new weapons, which we've put on our characters. We've upgraded Diona, who is apparently a high S tier character, which is ridiculous for a 12 wish pool that we did. So, I must have already been recording for 15, 20 minutes and I've done literally nothing. So let's get on with this quest. Um, I think we have a marker on the map, but it might have disappeared because I've logged off. Oh no, it's still there. So let's navigate to this. Oh, so that's on. And let's head there now and we can try our new character on the way. That looks like a, a hilly trail camp, so I am not going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. Although it'd probably be quicker if I ran as Kyle, wouldn't it? Because he's a faster character. What's the hurry? Okay, so is it up there? And there's another Animoculus up there too. I think I have to go through this camp after all. Have a look. So I believe to get up to this waterfall. I might have to fight my way through this camp, although I feel like I'm going to be attacked at any minute. But I don't want to go that way, do I? I want to go this way. Also, this game is lagging a lot today. I apologise for that. It's not my um, recording or anything like that. I think it's just because the game's connected to a server, that's why it's lagging. Okay. Oh, sorry, it's not a it's a, a wisp thing, isn't it? I have to touch these, don't I? Okay, let's see where this thing leads us. Gonna be here? Oh, okay, we're going somewhere else. Is it gonna lead us right back into the camp where I don't wanna go? Oh no, looks like it's just here. And we get the chest. Awesome. Fine enhancement ore. That is amazing. Another great sword. A travelling doctor's owl feather. Okay, so it's not an adventure piece like we wanted, but... God, it's another dungeon. What is this one? Locked? Adventure rank 27. Okay, that... That might take a little while, not going to lie. Let's go, let's go. But I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Let's... The pin is near here. If I go over this side... Is this where our next clue is going to be? This looks like... Okay. This isn't... I'm, I'm using ice, aren't I? I need to remember to dodge. I'm assuming ice isn't going to be the best against these people. Yeah, they're all immune. So I will switch to amber. I'll race you there. So she's not showing that much better, really. I'll race you there. Um, I'm not really sure what character to use here. I do not want to climb a tree. I do not want to climb a tree. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let's use... Okay, they're all immune to that, but let's just use the sword. Use a couple power attacks. Okay, I'm taking some damage here. I assume my Q doesn't do anything either. No, they're all immune, but at least... Oh no, it did do some damage. Okay. Well, we took care of them, so that's good. And what is this we have here? Does this do anything at all? 
Guess not. Now we have Kaya's Q as well. Right, so... Pick that up. And this looks to me like where that X was on the map. But I'm not... I'm not seeing anything yet. Let's quickly... There's Monster over there. X marks the spot right below area. It's literally right where I am, isn't it? Or is it slightly further this way? Is it actually in this pool of water? Or is it just below to the right of this? It looks like it's heading towards another pool of water to me, which is further this way. I wonder if I can go through this waterfall. Is that a thing? Can I go through this waterfall? Let's try. No? Okay, <laughs> it's not in the waterfall then. I thought that would have been quite a nice touch, but never mind. Okay, let's climb back up quite close where we are now. Oh my god, what is that thing? Okay, this should be a good opportunity to use our new character. I'm here. Okay, she's doing some damage. Okay, this guy is quite tough. This just gonna. This is literally just burning me. This guy sucks. Oh my god, this guy is tough. Get him! Okay, let's switch to Kaya and use our Q. Okay, that did nothing. I feel like I took a lot of damage then. That was not good. I really thought my ice character would be a lot better than that. Oh, that's not treasure at all. Oh, where the hell is this thing? Where is this chest? Or am I being an idiot and it is literally just here? This looks too high up. But then this doesn't do anything, does it? Okay, is that the correct? This time, the mysteries are all been solved. We did it. it sure that was it. Work. I guess. I guess we were supposed to use Kaya because he has ice, and he would have been able to activate it. But we had Diana instead. I should have seen that earlier. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. That's what I thought. Okay, so we have another map now. And it looks like it's on a beach somewhere. So, now? Do we report to Kaya? I say we just you go to the treasure run. location. I'm so happy. If we go and see Kaya, he's just going to tell us to go Let's and get go it anyway. It. Don't want anyone else to get there before we do. Like, no, we don't, Pine Mom. Like the treasure hoarders Kaya told us about. I'm assuming anyway, we're going to meet Paimon them there. just wants to borrow the sword to... No, you heard nothing. Paimon, uh, Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> All right, Paimon will save the chit chat for later. Probably for the Acadian best. Treasure hunt. Here we go. All right, so we have another map now. So let's have another look. 
be to navigate. Okay, I've already just put it on straight away. Where is this leading us? It's leading us here, along the Falcon Coast. There's an elemental trial near there. I'm going to ignore that. Let's just head straight there because hmm. Lizard tail. this has already been a very long episode. And it's going to just keep dragging on and on and on. Up you go, Kaya. Huh, huh. Fantastic, we have another one. And while we're up here, we might as well just carry on this way. Get this chest as well. By the way, I'm using Kaya because apparently the taller male characters can run a bit faster than the smaller characters. Um, I don't know... I think it was taller male characters. It might be both. I really don't want to fight you, buddy. Let me just grab my chest. And I'll be on my way. Please don't hurt me. Okay, I'm, I'm getting out of your way, dude. Don't worry. I'm gone. I am gone right now. Adventurous pocket watch. We just got an adventurous pocket watch. Hang on a minute. Oh my god, there's a whole nother valley down there with hilly shells in it. Um, do I want this chest? We will come back for it. Although, I always say that. You'll never come back for a chest, will you? Okay. Let's just fight them now. Yeah, I've already got one throwing fireballs at me. I'm not even hitting this one. There we are. Grind him down, grind him down. Slowly chip away at his health. I assume this is a shield, which is pretty good. I guess that's why she's a utility character. Okay, we got them all. Damaged mask. I'll pick that up. I'll pick up your lamp grass. Oh no, we still got one more left. We're just going to stand there and let us shoot him. Oh no, I wanted to slam him. Oh, never mind. See what we get then. Experience, that's amazing. An adventure flower, okay, that was well worth it. There's a wind tunnel up here as well. So we have a couple more adventure items, so let's quickly put one onto Diona because then we can get a four piece set. That's amazing. So now we have our regeneration effect every time we open a chest. That's awesome. I didn't think I'd get that so quickly. Oh, uh, I'm assuming I have to defeat one of those wind things for that. Uh, ow, okay, that hurts. No, don't kill me. Level 12. Another dungeon over here. This game is just absolutely sprawling, isn't it? And I think where we want to go is all the way down on the coast. Oh, hello. Oh, no, don't be scared. I found that very funny. Uh, what's... Can I climb up here or is this like the edge of the map? Oh, no, it is still... We're still going up and there's another dungeon up here. If you wander over here, we should get to the cliffside where the beach will be nice and below us. Wow, wow. That's really nice. And it's sunrise. Sun is coming up. It's a brand new day on Genshin Impact. You can see where we've been already. The temple over there. I think that's the temple over there. Monster over there. The new statue we unlocked over that way. And then Dragon Spine Mountain looming over there in the distance. That's going to be epic going there. So, let's... What is that? What is that now? It's not even called anything on the map. Right, you know, we can't do anything with too low adventure rank. Let's go and claim our treasure. Let me... I'm assuming it's in that cave, isn't it? 
I'm gonna quickly, quickly make sure that it's not right here. Just in case I get all the way down and then I have to climb up, so I don't wanna do that. Okay, let's go down. Whee! Here we are. Oh my god. This must be the Arcadian ruins. Is it just me? Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, mice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. I think we have every reason to be suspicious. Hey, the treasure is waiting for us. Oh my god, so we have to enter the depths of the ruins as well. Okay, I guess. Into Lost Arcadia we go. Oh. Recommended party level 10. Recommended elements, no electro in current party. It recommends that I have an electro. Oh my god, I might struggle at this. Oh, I have Lisa, she's an electro. Okay, let's replace Kaya with keep an eye on you. Lisa then, because she's going to be really useful. I think she is what who we want to use against water characters is too, like the enemies. Um, whereas ice and fire don't seem to work. I assume fire works against ice, but um, fire doesn't seem to work very well against water, which I guess makes sense. So we need to use electro against water. So we're going to be between these two characters the most, I believe. Okay. 